us at the moment. So here we go, the lights have gone to green. Who's going to get the all important first corner? Well, it looks like number 21, or is it Marshall O'Neill, number one, the defending champion in this class? It is indeed up to Druids. Here he comes. So 21, Steve Bullimore back there now, third. Keep an eye out for 58, Steve Booker. He's into second place. Booker, a quick man on these bikes. Just listen to the roar. It sounds like a fly pass from the Battle of Britain for him. 1,000cc, RS, and brilliant bills. They're all the same, standard road tyres on them. They're not allowed to tune the bikes. Strict regulations on that. They just have to carry out the normal safety precautions requiring things like the sub plug and so forth, the oil tray underneath. And they're all the same, so it's much down to the rider's ability more than the bike itself. But at the moment, it's Marshall Neal, number one, who's clear enough with this, but keep an eye on the man behind him, Steve Booker. He's no slouch, just 24 years of age, comes from Grantham, Steve does, unmarried, he's a car and motorcycle repairer, so he knows how to put the bike back together again when it breaks, that's for sure. Another good scrap on here, John Rose, number six, in amongst that. So is number nine, Darren Jones, so we could have a good race for third place, but at the moment it's Marshall Neal that's clearing off into the lead. He's number one, the defending champion. We're looking back behind him, it's Steve Booker indeed, still there in second, and Steve beginning to close down. Then it's the number nine bike of Darren Jones coming through. He's third, but I can assure you that's not sorted out yet. And Booker's closing in, Booker is definitely narrowing that gap. As they drop down once again, Paddock Hill Bend towards Halewood Hill and up towards Druids, is this is where Booker will mo go for the overtaking move? He does, he does, he, he makes it. Booker's through. Nice bit of outbreaking, but can Neil come back on the inside? No. Booker hangs on to it. So Steve Booker, the 24 year old motorcycle repairer, his favourite circuit is Croft. RS 1000 mil these bikes. His actual best and most favourite circuit is Donington Park, believe it or not. I suppose you, uh, a circuit like that, you can really get these bikes wound up. Doesn't have any circuit that he particularly dislikes. He was first last year, was his first win at Murray Park in this class. There's number nine going through. And then, of course, still Darren Jones. He's got 21 there right behind him, Steve Pullimore. Got a scrap between these two. But at the moment, it's Steve Booker on the 58 bike that is clearly away. And we have a right good scrap on here because number six, John Rhodes has joined in with that. And they're all over the place. There isn't track just isn't wide enough for them. Here they come. Up to the right hand of the hairpin and going through it. Oh, it's getting so tight. There's not much room. There's a couple of back markers there just in front of them. So that could definitely make some kind of difference as they drop down Graham Hill into Cooper and up towards Surtees. The power will be applied that went up the gearboxes. Big 1,000cc machines. It's still number nine then that has it in third. Darren Jones from Steve Pullingmore in fourth. Then it's number six there, John Rose. And we've got a few more trying to join in as well with that one. Or is that a back mark? Is it Jarrod Frost, number 10, a black marker? Well, there's a surprise because Jarrod normally runs in the top four or five. So he's obviously had some kind of problem earlier on in this race. But here's our race leader. 58, Steve Booker, lapping at around 85.7 miles per hour. That's a, a lap speed time around about 50.41. It's pretty quick. These bikes are quick. And you consider they're really just bog standard. You buy them out of the shop. A lot of the lads take the fairings off them and put the race fairing on. And the lights and everything else comes off as well. They make a few small modifications, but that's all. It's all down to the man that sits on it and twists that right hand. So Steve Booker at the moment is the boy that's doing the twisting. And he is out in front. I think he's got a clear run towards the chequered flag in this first race of the year for this pretty 1,000 mil. Indeed, he does take the chequered. Who's going to take second? Looks like Marshall Neal. Indeed, it is. A great opening ride there from Steve Booker. Neil held on to second. Steve Bullimore to third. John Rhodes to fourth. Chad Hasby fifth. Darren Jones in sixth place.